2022. We are under 36 hours away from the biggest wrestling party, wrestling, wrestling party on, party on the planet. It is also April Fool's Day. And you know what is not an April Fool's? I'm a fool, but please leave a like on this video, even if you don't make it to the end. Please subscribe to this channel. I'm on a quest to try to get to 100 subscribers by the end of April. Let's see if we can do it. At the time of this recording, I'm about 40 away. So if you would help me out in that regard, I would be eternally grateful. But with that out of the way, let's get to these WrestleMania predictions. All of these matches, this is at time of recording. So nothing that has been announced on SmackDown tonight will be on here. And the matches and when they take place, night one or night two has all been sourced by CBS Sports. So let's get right into it. We've got, and I'm looking over here on the other screen that I have at all the matches. If I'm not looking at the camera, it's because I'm looking at that. Rey Mysterio and Dominic Mysterio versus The Miz and Logan Paul. Typically, we do not see celebrities come in and lose. Typically, they always win. But we have a few celebrities on this card uh, tonight so or on WrestleMania. So I kind of am thinking Ray and Dominic Mysterio are going to win this. This is the second straight year for Logan Paul. Uh, him losing is not a terrible, terrible deal. I think he's going to be coming in. You know, it seems as if they're setting him up to come in down the road as well. He's going to take the 619. They've kind of been teasing it and setting it up over the last few weeks. So I think Ray and Dominic Mysterio are going to win this match. SmackDown Tag Team Championship, the Usos versus Shinsuke Nakamura and Rick Boogs. The Usos. The the, the Usos. I, I can't see... I can't see a logical reason on why the Usos would lose this, but then again, this is WWE, and who knows? So I'm going to go with the Usos on that one. Drew McIntyre versus Happy Corbin. Uh, I think Happy Corbin is going to lose this match and probably lose that stupid fedora hat that he has on his head. Uh, Drew McIntyre is going to win this, get his sword back, and maybe take a swing at Happy Corbin. And the hat is just going to... Gone. That's all that needs to be said about that. SmackDown Women's Championship. Charlotte Flair versus Ronda Rousey. Now, this is probably going to be the last match on the card. But more than likely not the last thing that we see on the card. Ronda has not been a very good promo as of late. I don't know if that's on purpose, if that's just her kind of not interested. She was just on the Ellen DeGeneres show and seemingly said that she was going to be the main event, but I guess there's confusion. There were reports out that she will not, and then there's reports that she will be. So it, it's hard to say if this was just a communication issue or not, but I think... I'm going to go Ronda Rousey winning this match. I do not think that she was coming in just for this little bit of a program from Rumble to here to put over Charlotte. I think there's an actual tangible reason why she's here. She rushed back after having a baby after four months. She made sure that we know that. So I, I honestly can see Ronda Rousey winning this and possibly holding on to the title until next year when she loses it to Becky Lynch at WrestleMania 39. She'll have a one-year reign of just complete terror running through everybody. So Ronda Rousey, I think, is going to win that title. The Raw Women's Championship. Becky Lynch versus Bianca Belair. Now, remember, the these were sourced from CBS Sports earlier in the week. Uh, I am not sure. I haven't heard one way or the other whether... SmackDown and Raw women's title are going to be on the same night. They're going to be on separate nights. Seems a little weird if they're on the same night. Kind of hope they're on separate nights. With that being said, Bianca Belair is... Bianca Belair, I think, is going to win this match. It's going to be the second straight WrestleMania where she wins a title. This one, the Raw women's title. And 
the the hair thing seems to be a well, it just seems to be a thing. Um, somebody is losing more hair. Now, earlier in the week, I thought Bianca was going to lose that braid of hers. However, now I'm starting to wonder if Becky Lynch is going to have more of a low-profile cut. Uh, but either way, Bianca Belair, I think, is going to win this match. And Scissors will come back into play in this match or post-match. Uh, the New Day versus Sheamus and Ridge Holland. We unfortunately are not getting Butch in this match unless they, you know, float him in after recording. For Big E, I would like to see the New Day win this match. Their, their track record at WrestleMania is not all that great. Um, but then again, they're kind of like Teflon. They don't have to win. But for Big E, I'm going to say the New Day is going to win this match. Seth Rollins versus the opponents of Vince McMahon's choosing. Unless you've been living under a rock, this has been rumored to be Cody Rhodes. It has been rumored to be Cody Rhodes now for, uh, for a few weeks. Just yesterday, it came out that sources close to Cody are indicating that he might be backing out of this. So is this Cody? Is this really going to be Seth versus Cody? I. Either way, whoever it is, this is the Cody spot. As much as I hate to admit it, as much as I hate it, this is the Cody spot. Everybody is expecting it to be Cody. This is this is CM Punk at the United Center. If it's not CM Punk at the United Center, it's a terrible letdown. Uh, listening to Sean Ross Sapp, this is... This is uh, promotional malpractice. If it's not Cody Rhodes, because they have not squashed it, they have not squelled the rumors, this is promotional malpractice, as he, as he has been eloquently saying. So, whoever this is, I feel is going to come in and squash Seth Rollins. Whoever this is, is going to win this match. Unless it's Shane McMahon. If it's Shane McMahon, Seth, Seth Rollins is winning this match. Um... It, it was rumored that the backstage heat at Royal Rumble was in part due to Seth. And, well, not in part to, but between Seth and Shane. Now, reports came out that Shane had issues with everybody. So that's not a, that's not a far stretch. That's not a far cry. But I could really realistically see this being a situation where if it's Cody, Cody comes in, squashes Seth Rollins. If it's Shane, Seth Rollins beats Shane. You know, Vince likes to do this thing where he, he doles out payback in the ring. Well, you know, Shane gets his Shane gets a WrestleMania moment, but gets his ass beat. But again, this is the Cody spot. If it's not Cody, it's it's promotional malpractice. It's it's all of the things. It's an immediate heel. God, I hope it's not Gable Stevenson for his sake, because if it is, he's screwed. Remember years back at the Royal Rumble when everybody was hoping it was going to be Daniel Bryan in the Royal Rumble at the 30 spot. And if I'm if I'm remembering correctly, it ended up being Rey Mysterio, and he was on the receiving end of a chorus of booze. He was not even a heel at the time. He was just on the receiving end of a chorus of booze. People were not happy to see him because they wanted Daniel Bryan. If you're a WWE fan, this this is the Cody spot. All right, WrestleMania night two. Here we go. The Women's Tag Team Championship, unfortunately, this is really convoluted. Uh, Queen Zelina and Carmella versus Sasha Banks and Naomi versus Rhea Ripley and Liv Morgan versus Natalia and Shayna Baszler. So, my heart tells me Rhea Ripley and Liv Morgan. Please, Liv Morgan, get a title. My head is telling me Sasha and Naomi, because what do they like to do with Sasha Banks? Have her face 
have a title somewhere with a partner. And then at some point down the line, she feuds with said partner after they lose the title. And Sasha will probably be the reason why they lose the title. So I think Sasha Banks and Naomi are winning the women's tag team championships. Johnny Knoxville versus Sami Zayn. Uh, this is the second of three celebrities on the match. I, Sami Zayn just seems to be having the time of his life. I don't see a reason why he wouldn't have a problem losing this match. Uh, I'm going to go Johnny Knoxville, and he's going to do some dumb shit. You know, it's WrestleMania. We're probably going to get a couple more of the Jackass guys involved. Uh, I can see a splash from Wee Man or something. Um, you know, Johnny Knoxville wins this match. Pat McAfee versus Austin Theory. Pat McAfee I am counting as the third celebrity, even though he is a member of the roster on the SmackDown commentary team. Um, I, I mean, come on, you got it. You got to go, Pat McAfee, right? You got it. You got to go, Pat. And then he's gonna put undefeated at WrestleMania in his Twitter bio. It, you got to go, Pat McAfee here. Um, doesn't doesn't make much sense for it to be Austin Theory. Uh, maybe down, maybe at WrestleMania Backlash they run it back, Pat versus Austin. And then Austin gets his win back there. And then, you know, we squash it. We go our separate ways. But at WrestleMania, Pat McAfee. Bobby Lashley versus Omos in the match nobody wants to see. Uh, Omos is going to squash Bobby Lashley. Well, maybe not squash, but it, I don't think it'll be last longer than five minutes. Um, they seem to be setting him up for something. But, you know, did he fall by accident? On Monday night, was he supposed to take this take the bump over the top rope and land on his feet? They seem to be setting up to who was going to be the person to knock him over. Because WWE likes to repeat history, and this was a situation like they had back for WrestleMania three with Andre and Hogan. Um, now Omos is not in any way, shape, or form Andre the Giant, and Bobby Lashley is not Hogan, but. They, they seem to be going that direction, repeating history from 35 years ago. Omos wins. The Raw Tag Team Championship. RK Bro versus Street Profits versus Alpha Academy. Um, this is probably one of the more tough ones to predict. I... Street Profits are getting hot. Street Profits are good as heels. I like it. Um, I would like to see Montez Ford go off on his own. At some point, um, he has star-making potential. He is a star in the making. Um, give it to RK-Bro. RK-Bro retains at WrestleMania. Um, at some point, you think that they would implode. They would feud. Uh, you would you would think that it would have already happened by now, but you know they seem to be having the time of their life. And on an interview just yesterday, on Thursday with Pat McAfee, Randy Orton said he's having the time of his life. He has his love of wrestling back, and he has Riddle to thank for that. So now you can he can have that, and they can be feuding. But how cool would it be to see Riddle turn on Randy? Just just saying, Riddle's a heel. Turning on Randy would be an interesting dynamic. But RK-Bro, I'm going to say, retains the titles. Edge versus AJ Styles. Well, hot damn. Um, AJ Styles? This match, is gonna, this match is going to be absolutely incredible. These are two great performers. These are two absolutely amazing storytellers in a ring. Um, you know, set aside the the WrestleMania 36, Randy versus Edge, you know, 45, 50 minute anything goes match that went throughout the performance center. Take that out. 
Edge has got some absolute bangers since coming back just a few years ago. Um, but th this new character of his kind of makes it interesting, kind of kind of throws a wrench into it. Um, AJ Styles has been with WWE now for long enough that he doesn't have to win at WrestleMania. In fact, I think he's already taken a loss at WrestleMania. Um, I'm going to say, oh, geez, see this, you can see it in both directions. It's not even a matter of who needs it, who doesn't need it, but I'm going to say AJ Styles wins it because it is WrestleMania, because Edge has been in so many of them, and because Edge is the heel, the ultra heel the ultra snotty nose up in the air talking down on you i'm better than you heel i think wrestlemania is kind of a happier uh i'm gonna go i'm gonna go aj styles winning this match and then the winner take all match between brock lesnar who is your wwe champion and roman reigns who is your universal champion Again, a winner-take-all match. Paul Heyman is in the corner of Roman Reigns. I think that's where it has to stay. And this match is going to... This... I have seen a lot of situations and a lot of reports and a lot of fans on Twitter and Reddit and Instagram and, and comments everywhere. Why do we have this match again? Why do we need this match again? The dynamic is completely different. This one should be the best of the three WrestleMania matches that they have had. So, you know, Roman, and, and they tied into that story too this, this past week on Raw. Roman has never beaten Brock at WrestleMania. And I think this is the one where he does it. I think Roman Reigns is going to beat Brock Lesnar. It's not going to be a pretty match. This is going to be one of those two hosses just slapping the absolute shit out of each other. Roman Reigns, I think, becomes double champion. They will unif they're will they unifying the titles to the WWE Universal Heavyweight Champion of the World. It's, Paul Heyman is going to spew something about a mile long. Uh, hopefully come down to one belt. In about a month, they're probably going to reintroduce another belt, even though I don't think they necessarily have to. Um, you can have one top champion across across your Raw and SmackDown. You have enough of a roster at this point. You have gotten rid of most of your, of your roster. You can do this. Um, and following this, the question is, can Roman or will Roman go another full calendar year until WrestleMania when he presumably takes on The Rock at WrestleMania 39 in Los Angeles. And then following that, can Roman Reigns make it 1,000 days? They've already said he is in the top five. I think they said he is number four. But he is in the top five all-time longest WWE champion, universal or WWE champion, either way, the long in the top five of the longest title reigns in WWE WWF history. He is in rarefied air, and this is the Roman that we wanted four, five, six years ago. Now we have him, and. They've done some phenomenal things with him. And I think I think this match, Brock Lesnar has already lost the high profile matches before. Um, he has been beaten by, you know, Triple H for one. Um, it it can happen. Brock can lose at WrestleMania. And I think Brock will lose at WrestleMania. Again, thank you very much. If you made it to the end of this video. Please like the video. Please subscribe. I'm trying to get to 100 by the end of April. One month. It is April 1st. Uh, here we go. Biggest wrestling fans. Here we go. Thanks a lot. See you on the next one.